Oh yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Oh yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. I was up late night balling. up hundreds by the thousand. Vince Staples new album has an impressive amount of experimental beats. The production comes from people like Going into this album, I expected a couple different things. Judging off singles like Bag Back and Big Fish, which had less of the abstract, twisted kind of hip-hop production that came off records like Prima Donna and Hell Can Wait. I was expecting Big Fish to be one of the more accessible albums in Vince Staples' discography. However, um, I was a little bit wrong. Not to say that I wouldn't have liked an accessible album from Vince Staples, I wouldn't have expected from those singles that Vince Staples would have taken a lot more risks and unexpected turns on Big Fish Theory. Because just to name a few, you have the very first track, Crabs in a Bucket, which has this UK garage influenced house music sort of beat, which Vince Staples manages to ride a flow over very well. You get this pummeling, crunchy, distorted beat that pounds your eardrum, like that, on Yeah Right. A track produced by Sophie and featuring a brilliant verse from Kendrick Lamar. I still don't exactly see the purpose of the Alyssa interlude with what sounds like a piece of dialogue from Amy Winehouse. And I think some of the hooks, while catchy at its best moments, can get a little grating and even uninspired at the worst. They don't ruin the album, but they just make them a little less enjoyable to come back. I do like Yeah Right though, because even if that hook is one of the more repetitive ones, Yeah Right, Yeah Right, Yeah Right, Oh Yeah Right, Yeah Right, Yeah Right, the song itself is exhilarating with a pummeling beat and incredible vocal charisma from Vince Staples and Kendrick Lamar alike. So yeah, if you want to make a repetitious hook seem less tedious, then you know, make the song exciting to listen to. Or at least do more than just repeat a line that does little to say anything about the track or define its topic or subject matter. I would, I would also have to give a lot of credit to Bag Back. This song is so good. Vince Staples kicks this amazing flow. This is for my future baby mama. Hope your skin is black as midnight. I take you at that hundred. I can put you in the bins. I can balance. And each section of the song just flows so well, one bit after the other, so that the hook, even if it's just this vocal sample being manipulated with, it doesn't sound like an underwhelming hook because it just flows so well, coming straight out of the verse and then afterwards going straight into the next verse. Boy, oh boy, we are flowing. While Big Fish Theory takes many exciting risks and detours, it's also bogged down by its fair share of weaker musical moments, ranging from weak hooks to unnecessary interludes. But don't let that criticism turn you off from this album though. Vince Staples has not lost a smidge of talent, cleverness, or that willingness to take more risks than his contemporaries who have reached similar levels of popularity as him. And it pays off for many of the tracks. So I'm giving this album a 7 out of 10.